I'm left out to try here, and here we go. Once again, lap nine, and as you can see, second to fourth, and then every. What's going on, everyone? Tom Gore in here, and welcome back to episode 22 of the F123 Haas to Glory. This is season two, race number eight. We're halfway through season two of the Haas to Glory on F123, and this is the most anticipated episode of pretty much the entire series. As you can see, we are leading the Drivers' Championship for the first time, I believe, all series. 97 points after the win we had in Canada. We've had three consecutive podiums, followed by our first podium of the season in Miami, and, of course, uh, the two 10th places. But, yeah, we are in the lead of the World Championship, and we have major momentum as we enter our home race, the British Grand Prix Race 8 for Season 2 of the Has to Glory Career Mode Championship. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more F123 content. Thank you for 700 subscribers. Now let's try and get to 1,000 subscribers. If we could do that by the end of this game's life, that would be absolutely mental. Your support has been unbelievable, and I continue to be appreciative of it, even if it's just small numbers. So, episode 22, let's do this. They're going to talk about my main rival for this season between Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. I go Charles Leclerc because Ferrari's car is slower than ours. Um, but if you've been watching the series, Ferrari don't seem to have that slow of a car. As our first of three upgrades happen, the DRS maximum slot gap is now on into the car, which means that our DRS will be more effective for the next races. And now, the only upgrades left is really that spec upgrade for the durability. Spec 2 is now onto the car, which means all of our facilities are now at a spec 2, which means our two upgrades that are, we are waiting on is the chassis upgrades that we have been, you know, hyping up for the last couple of episodes. And there it is. The ultimate upgrade is on the car. The hydraulics upgrade and the master cylinder upgrade is now onto the car which means now that our brakes and our tire wear, I believe, no, it's our uh, weight redistribution, which means we have maxed out the weight redistribution upgrades. We can't do any more, and we've now got a brake upgrade as well. The hydraulics was the ultimate upgrade, as you can see, and also uh, the, uh, the brakes upgrade as well. The master cylinder upgrade was a minor upgrade as well and we are clearly now in front of Red Bull and McLaren and Aston Martin for being the best chassis on the grid so now because uh, we have a gap of you know our chassis upgrades now it's time to focus on the aero side of the car and our aero side is uh, kind of lacking just a little bit compared to our rivals as we head towards the British Grand Prix um, but yeah, we have major momentum as we head towards our home race for the British Grand Prix. And since we have over uh, 1,800 resource points, we just do it on a durability upgrade. However, nonetheless, we lead the World Championship on a run of momentum as we enter Silverstone for round eight of the season two Has to Glory Career Mode series. Let's enter the race weekend. So here we go, qualifying for the British Grand Prix, and I now know what the issues were when it comes to um, the chassis um, handling problems I've had with the series. It was bo it was mainly uh, the setup of the car, mainly with the custom setups that I've been running, and it just seems to me like the more upgrades you have with your car in career mode, like the more the car like the worse the car handles if it has a custom setup and you have to really adjust it. So with this setup, I'm running pretty much a default setup. I've only just changed uh, the front brake bias, the wing values, and I think also the differential as well. And 
the car felt really, really good. As you can see, we're in seventh place. We've got 12 seconds left of qualifying here at Silverstone. Let's see if we can try and get pole position for season two of the British Grand Prix for the Haas to Glory. Exton, uh, turn number four, are now entering uh, the straight here, Wellington straight, as we head towards uh, Brooklands and also Woodcut. And we gain a tenth and a half there on the entry. But we do lose it, though. We go a little bit wide. The AI do seem to be quite overpowered as we now enter the old star finish straight. Personally, I wish they brought this, this straight back. I wish they, re um, they reverted back into the straight. Alex Albon, 24.484 does pole position as we enter Maggots, Beckett, and Chapel. Magnussen goes quicker with a 24.45. I think, I'm not really sure. And as you can see, we're purple in sector two. We're in, in 11th place. So, the pole position is on as we enter. It is, is it not Stowe? It's, oh, bollocks. I've forgotten the name as we enter the fail chicane. Lando Norris is now on pole position. But now, can we somehow try and get pole position in the house today? It's going to be close. We're 10th up. Have we got it? Have we got pole position today? You've got to be kidding me. Ape. Ape? I was over two temps up. How the hell am I ape? Oh, mate. You... Look at that. Hamilton, Perez, Russell, Albon. Leclerc's in P3. What do you mean he's in P3? Oh, that's such, um, that's such an anticlimax. Join us in the United Kingdom today, or Great Britain, as it's alternatively known. Well, it's certainly a great day today, as we welcome you to one of the crown jewels of British sports. A track of speed, history, and drama. It's Silverstone. It's the British Grand Prix. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of Silverstone Circuit form the 3.6-mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years, with Turn 1 now the fast right-hander of Abbey. But the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Kevin Magnussen yesterday puts him on pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Albon, Russell, Perez, Hamilton, Thomas, Oscar Piastri, Verstappen, Stroll, Norris, Gasly, Joe, Bottas, Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Sainz, Sargent, De Vries, and Esteban Ocon lines up at the back of the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. And with me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? That was a great win in the last race, but can they keep that momentum going into this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. I'm sure Crofty has been taking some type of drug or whatever he's been taking or smoking because I'm sure in the last race, I won in Canada and Verstappen came in second unless, unless Verstappen um, somehow magically appeared in front of me or if Crofty can't see the white of my Haas car. Um, but nonetheless, apparently, according to David Croft, uh, Max Verstappen won the Canadian Grand Prix. He might have meant he might have been on about real life. Uh, you know that that doesn't matter here in this Has to Glory career mode series. So here we are for the British Grand Prix. We're in eighth place. Not really the start that we wanted to, and the strategy is a simple one: stop with the tyre upgrades. We're going to be going from the softs to the mediums. Now, I should have maybe went mediums to softs. Um, but you'll see why in this video, uh, why I didn't go for that. There's a, there's a setup I'm running. Uh, just I just increased slightly the tire pressures a little bit, um, and I've slightly taken some fuel out. So I'm testing the waters with the mediums to hards, but I decided to go back onto the softs and the mediums, providing that there's no safety car for this race. So can I win the British Grand Prix from eighth on the grid? Let's do this. 
Here we go then, the formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. So, here we go for the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. There's the strategies, one stop for both uh, tyre compounds uh, from the softs to the mediums. It's an expected one stop uh, because of the tyre upgrades. Kevin Magnussen is on pole. My boy has finally done some good in this has to glory. I can't carry this team all by myself. And now he's tried and got pole position for the first time in this series. Hopefully, K-Mag can get the win for our team today at home. But we're halfway through season two of the Hasta Glory and the British Grand Prix is underway. Now, and here we go for the British Grand Prix. Leclerc and Perez have had a great start. Verstappen's had a stinker. Russell's had a stinker. Has headed towards turn one. And Charles Leclerc has taken the lead of the British Grand Prix. We're going to dive the inside of Alex Albon. That is us into fourth place. And now we can try and overtake our championship rival, Sergio Perez, in the Red Bull. The tie strategy is a little bit different. Some have went softs, others have went mediums. And I believe there's like one, actually, I don't think there was anyone at hearts as we begin the second lap here at Silverstone. But Magnussen is just tailing uh, Charles Leclerc as we're going to send one down inside of Sergio Perez in towards the Red Bull. And after yesterday's qualifying performance, it's clear that Daniel Ricciardo needs to replace Sergio Perez because he's absolutely clapped. Right. Lap 2, Magnussen has taken the lead back from Charles Leclerc as we're going to try and size a move. Leclerc goes around the outside in towards Cops Corner. And that is Cops, by the way, not Stowe. It's Cops. Tom, dickhead. Anyway, Leclerc in towards the Felsher Kane takes the lead of the British Grand Prix. Magnussen tries to fight back, but he's nowhere to be found. And Leclerc takes the lead. And this battle was actually going on for quite some time in the first part of the race. Magnussen takes the lead. And now, as you can see, Leclerc is the arrest, but we're absolutely using our overtake. And I'm, I'm trying to force Magnussen to go defensive to block off Charles because I'm trying to get a 1 2 here. In this race, but Magnussen just, he didn't defend quick enough and Leclerc has just sent it down the inside. Right, lap four of this race. So Magnussen is now all over uh, Charles Leclerc. I'm trying to build a gap but in front so that Magnussen can overtake Charles. And as you can see, I'm coming in towards Cop's corner. I've came all over Charles Leclerc. Uh, uh, not in that way. Not in that way. Anyways, it's a one-two for the Haas to glory here for the Haas boys at the British Grand Prix. And now I'm just trying to pull away from Charles Leclerc. However, um, I was just struggling. Well, I wasn't struggling, but it's just Magnussen's pace was just uh, a little bit, a little bit slow. So I decided to, you know, pass Magnussen on the entry of Cops Corner, and that is the lead of the British Grand Prix. So it looks like we're gonna we're gonna win. It's gonna be two in a row here as a safety car has been deployed at Silverstone. And it's not good. It's Lando Norris. Lando Norris in the McLaren has crashed. I thought it was an engine failure at first, but as you can see, he makes he makes contact with both the Alfa Romeo drivers. And just like that, he, as you can see, he locks up going into cops and he just goes into the side pod of Valtteri Bottas and that is his race all over. Lando Norris is out of the British Grand Prix. That is not good for any McLaren fans support on him and McLaren season goes from bad to worse after after Lando Norris. Piastri is still in the race but he's in the midfield of the top 10. Now as you can see there is the strategy call. The game wants me to do two stops from softs to mediums but I decide why would I do that and I decide to go with a one stop to go straight onto the medium tires. This was the wrong call and as you can see Lap 7, the safety car cutscene is on. And as you can see, Magnussen comes in and all, all types of carnage goes on into the pit lane. As you can see, Magnussen's in this change with Gasly, Hamilton, Sainz, Stroll, uh, uh, Leclerc as well. A lot of drivers are boxing 
in this in this pit window and the game has kept me out um and as you can see once again lap eight this is the next lap and we're going to a snail's pace i'm thinking that my i'm gonna box however i don't box in this in this race and as you can see there's other cars that are boxing um you know perez verstappen uh magnuson magnuson's boxed again so i'm left out to try here and here we go once again lap nine and as you can see second to fourth and then everyone else you know alex albon pierre gasly uh you know piastri uh shoguan yu i think ocon they they are they're all boxing and there's me i'm i'm just left out so i'm like well that's not good and as you can see i'm now left out and that that's a disaster a strategic nightmare here at Silver Silverstone, as we get ready to start, I'm going to box because that's when, you know, my pit window is, lap 11. And just like that, we get underway. And because of that, I now officially lose the lead of the British Grand Prix because of a pit stop. Um, I think from now on, I'm going to change the safety car cut scene. So it's now, it's not immersive. It's, well, it is a mess. Well, the safety car cutscene is broadcast so i'm gonna have to change that to immersive so that i can make the calls um for the pit stops however as you can see 2.2 second stop time i get held for a second and that nearly loses me position to nick de Vries, who is still in my career mode save believe it or not and um, i have no idea why he's in my career mode save so we come out the box and we are in p8 and now it's just a game of okay which is the winning strategy is it the two stop? Is it the softs to the mediums? Or is it the one stop? Is it, you know, softs to mediums? You know, is it my version of the softs to mediums or is it the two stop where they've stopped for softs and then they stopped again for mediums? Or is it a one stop? Is it softs to hearts? Because there have been drivers like Liam Lawson who stopped on the safety car for the hard tyres and they're going straight to the end. So I don't know. Which is the winning strategy? I'm, I'm just confused. And speaking of confused, there's Magnussen. Magnussen's ahead, and there's the there's the confirmation of all the strategies. Um, and as you can see, Lawson, uh, Stroll, uh, Sargent, and Leclerc, I don't know if they're going to stop again. I know the Williams ain't stopping again. So that just leaves me guessing as far as, okay, which driver's going to stop, which driver's ain't. Science, I know he's going to stop because he's on the soft tyres. And Carlos Sainz officially overtakes us in towards Cops Corner and we're down to P6. However, the bastard goes and stops again. So that's P5 in this race. So it, it's weird. It's weird. And now I've lost a pit stop. And look at the gap between Magnussen and Liam Lawson. That's 20 plus seconds as Lance Stroll and the Aston Martin overtakes us in towards uh, Luffield. And we lose fifth place. And then, as you can see, the next lap, uh, Charles Leclerc gets us for P6. So, it's not been a day to remember for the Haas boys here at the British Grand Prix. We've absolutely bottled a strategy. And we've bottled a simple 1-2. I mean, I don't understand how we could have bottled that. And as you can see, look at that. Look at Bottas. Bottas is trying to go around the outside and towards Cops Corner. I'm having none of that. And... Yeah, it, it, it's just frustrating. I mean, we were on the winning strategy. We were starting on softs. We we're going to go on mediums, and then that's it to the end of the race. And then thanks to the safety car cinematic, our strategy has now been thrown out the window. We've done a Ferrari. We should have boxed under the safety car, you know, to mediums, and that would have taken us to the end of the race. Now, provided the tire wear would have been a little bit more higher, but we would have made it to the end, no question about it. And now thanks to staying out under the safety car, we have lost the win today to Sergio Perez, of all people. Um, and as you can see, the penultimate lap of this British Grand Prix, we were having battles with Albon and Perez, uh, well, not Perez, with uh, Bottas and Piastri um, behind. And as you can see, I overtake uh, Valtteri Bottas going in towards Cops, and that is all she wrote. Um, Albon tries to do one last overtake i'm using all of my um, overtake available as sergio perez wins the british grand prix he takes back the championship lead 
uh, Albon tries to hold around the outside, but that doesn't work. And we're going to come home for a disappointing P7 here at Silverstone. And it's just frustrating to know that we bottled an easy 1-2. Silverstone, a memorable race and an impressive victory. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. So Sergio Perez takes the victory with both McLarens in second and third. Liam Lawson and Logan Sargent on the podium at Silverstone to give Williams their first podium since Brazil, uh, not Brazil since Belgium 2021 but most importantly for us we lose the championship lead Sergio Perez he scored maximum points while we only scored five I do believe and that is very disappointing because look we could have we should have had a one two we should have had a one two Magnussen was on pole he had pace to win today he overtook Leclerc uh if it wasn't for that sake I mean Magnussen did well to get back to fourth but it's 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 a one two lost um, but races like this will define our season. Meanwhile, Verstappen and Hamilton, they didn't score. So that's good for, for us, I guess. But the biggest noise is that we lost a 1-2 at Silverstone. And that's just annoying for the next race. So, uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more F123 has glory career mode content. Uh, we're down 15 to Paris as we head towards the French Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.